Good morning. It is currently 8.36, 8.37 in the morning, and I think it's day 9 or 10, I've lost count at this point, of self-isolating. So because life is so different these days, I kind of want to document what life is like since this quarantine started. And I also want to do this because I know that a lot of you probably feel like you're going insane and you're going through this by yourself but i just want this to show you that you know you're not alone someone else is in the same boat as you and we're all in this together we're all in this together <laughs> it is way too early for that <laughs> it is way too early for that you know what i don't even know why i'm awake this early because usually i'm not <laughs> but i think honestly this quarantine has changed my life around I'm noticing I don't know you'll see but the first thing on the list is to have breakfast because I'm so hungry um, I'm gonna have a really light breakfast I think I'm gonna have some yogurt and granola because after breakfast like 30 minutes to an hour after is when um, my boyfriend sister and I like to go running around the neighborhood and then after that we come back home and we do a little at-home workout which you guys will see everything and I'll explain a little bit more in depth later on. But let's have breakfast. So let's get down to business now. I am about to go on a run and then do my home workout so I'm just gonna put my hair up really quickly So now that we've gotten our morning routine out of the way, I kind of just want to take some time out of my day to write in this journal that I've had since high school. This I've had this since my freshman year. And inside, I filled it with some personal thoughts, quotes, advice, and life lessons, short stories, my favorite lyrics. I was going through this the other day. I found it, and I really, I really enjoyed, you know, looking back on... Don't look at this. I really enjoyed looking back on how I used to think and how I used to see the world and I was so creative with this journal. I asked myself questions and I would answer on the next page and I filled it with pictures. I haven't written in a journal in a very long time but um, I want to start and I think that now is a perfect time to do that so I'm going to take some time to do that right now. Well, 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 who do we have here? Did you miss me? 
It's been six years since my last journal entry. You have a lot to catch up on, but I'll fill you in on those details later. Right now, I want to talk about the present. The year is 2020, and it's not looking too good. We're currently facing a pandemic with a new virus called the coronavirus, or COVID-19. In order to stop the spread of this virus, we've been asked to practice social distancing and stay home. School has been moved to online courses, we're not allowed to go to the movies or eat inside restaurants. The world is pretty scary right now. I'm trying to stay positive, but I can't shake this feeling like the worst is yet to come. On the bright side, self-quarantine has brought me a lot closer to my family. I've spent every day doing something with my boyfriend's family, and it's been such a nice feeling. I've also been using this time to focus on me and do something productive each day. I'm hoping this will all get better soon, but only time will tell. Writing in this journal feels so good. I don't know why I ever stopped. I'll try my best to stay consistent with updates so I can look back on this in a few years. Talk to you soon. Liz. I just got out of the shower. I didn't wet my hair because I washed it yesterday and I really don't feel like dealing with that right now. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of skincare, put on my moisturizer, maybe like throw some brows on just to feel like good even though I'm just gonna be at home and no one is gonna see me except you guys. And then I set up a little FaceTime meeting with my sisters because I haven't seen them in a long time. So it's good to keep in touch with your family, you know, during this time, especially because I can't go out and see them. They can't see me. This is the look. This is the best you're going to get from me today. Hi, guys. Hello. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> oh my god, wow. Miss Francita. For my presentation today, I'm gonna be showing you Stormy Webster. <laughs> it's just a greasy spoon without yeah. you. <laughs> that got me in the feelers. Yep. So I just ended my video chat with my sisters and it was really nice talking to them because I haven't seen them in person in a long time and it sucks because last week was my niece's birthday and in two, no tomorrow, tomorrow is my nephew's birthday and we're gonna have to celebrate by video chatting and that's it and I don't get to spend their birthday with them and that sucks like I can't imagine being a kid during this time imagine when you grow up and you have to remember like oh remember that one birthday when there was a pandemic going on like that is a lot for a kid to have to go through hopefully this thing goes by a lot faster than we think so it's currently 5 38 p.m and i'm getting sleepy but one thing that i had on my list to do today is to declutter my dressers and I don't think that's going to take that long because I don't really have, well, actually I do have quite a bit of t-shirts, but I feel like I'm going to be getting rid of a lot because um, I know the ones that I reach for and the ones that I don't reach for. So it shouldn't take that long. And then I feel like I can reward myself with like a little movie night. I'm currently watching Little Fires Everywhere on Hulu with my boyfriend's sister such a good show. Reese Witherspoon, Olivia Pope. <laughs> I love them both. <laughs> so maybe we'll watch that. Also, a new episode of Grace came out. So I think we're going to watch that with the whole family. And I think that's probably how I'm going to end my night. So as much as I don't want to do it, let's just get this out of the way and declutter my friggin' dressers. Oh, my eye looks pretty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So these two drawers is where I keep um, like all my workout shirts and pajamas and it's a freaking mess and I'm sorry for that, but I guess that's why we're doing this, right? So I have all these PJs, all these like workout shirts and just shirts to like lounge around in, basic tees, all my yoga pants, little shorts, all that. And in here, I have more sweats, random shirts. This is, this is a mess. Let's get to work.
that actually wasn't too bad. I just finished this first drawer. It looks pretty great. I do have a lot of clothes though that I need to wash, which is why this dresser looks so empty. But let me let me give you a look. So here's what we're working with. I could probably do this a lot better. I just don't know how to do it, and I'm I can't be bothered to look up the actual KonMari method of doing this. So I'm gonna just leave it like this for now. It looks fine, and I can see everything. I can just oh, I want this one. Boom, take it out. Ooh, I want to wear this shirt. Boom, take it out. You know, it's just hassle-free, and I'm gonna donate all of these. So that's quite a big chunk of clothes. We're almost done. I just need to do my last drawer, and then. We're done for the day. We don't have to be productive no more. The sun is going down. But yeah, let me finish this real quick. Now here is where things get interesting. And that's all what? But seriously, love is love is love is love is love is love. Is love. Honestly, that did not take long at all. I know you're probably thinking, what am I gonna do with all this space? Trust me, girl, I have so many clothes that I haven't washed yet that would fit very nicely in this drawer. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Here she is in all her glory. Not too shabby. And this is a pile of all the clothes that I'm getting rid of. That felt so good to finally clean out those dressers because that has been bothering me for a long time. I've known for so long that I need to get rid of a lot of clothes because I don't wear a lot of them. So it felt good to kind of go through them and purge. This, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm beautiful. Oh my god. On that note, I'm gonna go because I'm pretty sure the rest of this day is gonna be spent with family, spent with my boyfriend, spent watching movies and TV shows and eating junk food and having a good time. I'm glad that I got to spend a big portion of my day with you and I hope that you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Honestly, it's like three videos a week at this point, so please subscribe if you don't wanna miss any of my content. I love you guys so much. Please do your part by staying home and staying safe. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.